Hi, everybody, and welcome to back to Average Roll. As you probably already know, uh, we're a group of Chilean gamers, and this is our 5e high level Dragonlands campaign. Uh, all of our episodes so far have been crazy epic affairs, and I expect this one to be no different. Uh, before we start our session, though, I'd like to ask my fellow players how they're doing tonight. Uh, beginning with you, Jose, how have you been? It's what? been a while since we played. Why yeah. me? Why me first? <laughs> <laughs> because you're never first, so I want to I wanna have you first. That's true. Well, uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, very happy to be here again. Uh, was waiting for playing this campaign again after this couple of months uh, in, in waiting. Live with her, uh, but no, very fine, very fine. Um, I'm wait, I'm playing a, a very fun video game, Gravity Circuit. It's an independent game. It's like Mega Man X, but uh, with a um, with a hook, and it's a melee okay. focus combat. It's very fun. The ex excellent soundtrack. Very recommended. Hey. Hey. Good recommendation. I like it. Mm. Uh, Patty, how about you? Wait. Uh -huh. Second. <laughs> Ready. <laughs> uh, I, I muted my microphone because my husband is with some friends, so there's going to be some noise. Um, yeah. Um, okay. I'm fine. The other day, I went to the movies with my girls. It was a long. I we haven't been there uh, for like before COVID, it's so been... it was. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Then. Yeah. So we saw a. a a children's movie. <laughs> Which one? Which one did you did you go and see? Element. Oh, that's I've really heard cool. good things. I, then you went. Yes, to watch it's it. fun. I, I love that. I went with my with my niece to watch that one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was fun. really yeah. fun. Yeah. So that's what my my latest thing. Hey, that Thank was that. that's super cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Ah, uh, Daniel, how about you? I'm well. I'm very much looking forward to restarting Points of Light, and. By the end of the year, hopefully, MCDM will have released their new role-playing game. I'm quite excited at, at the teases that we've gotten in the Patreon, and I look forward to, to testing it out with this group. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also waiting for that. I'm not, in, I'm not on the Patreon, but uh, I'm really excited. I, I, saw, I watched the video that mm -hmm. Matt Colville uploaded the other day, and I was like, I, I knew everything about that, but I was like, it's so much fun that they're talking about it. And the new game is coming, and I love all the tags and everything. I'm totally on board to play that. And of course, you know, points of light. That's a that's a little bit of a let's say like a spoiler, you know, like Oops. what's coming in the channel. <laughs> but I love it. I love that we're giving exclusives out in this video. So yeah, in a, in, in a short period of time, I think uh, you're gonna start watching uh, us playing our characters in that awesome campaign again. Mm. And we have some other surprises waiting for you. So so be be. Uh, you know, be watchful about what we're doing. And last but not least, Alejandro, how about you? Uh, hi. Uh, I don't know. Life is hard. Uh, <laughs> I have been prepping yeah. uh, some some stuff from for D&D, some campaigns, some some one shots, like lightly pre preparing that. I have been playing some small indie games. I don't know if you have heard of them. Uh, Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> like I finished it as soon as it, it came out, I'm, I have continually played it. Uh, it's pretty good. And the other game is a Street Fighter Six. Like, oh, I've uh, heard so another indie one. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, another indie, indie one. one. Like they, they have a lot of history, uh, struggling through the years. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's cool. playing that ranking. I, I like fighting games. They are oh. fun. Yeah. Amazing. And the other day we got together and painted minis. Oh, right. oh that was so nice. Yeah, yeah. we painted our minis. Mm -hmm. Alejandro printed it for, for us. Yeah, in 3D and everything. Yeah. yeah. So it was really fun. That's the second time I ever paint uh, a mini. Mm -hmm. It was very fun I experience. Hadn't I hadn't painted miniatures for like, at that point, I think like, like 15 years or something. Uh, uh, maybe the last time. I I wanted to paint today, but I'm <laughs> it's still <too> big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like priming For stuff. Reference. Still priming stuff. Uh, yeah, no, I I, I primed it like days ago, but I wanted to stop painting. 
but uh, I'm so fucking lazy. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I it's just okay. want to play games and chill. Yeah. So, everyone know that it's not that we are away from the the, the, the channel. We are co we have been doing s stuff. Yeah. Just not online. We are preparing that some stuff for the channel and do some stuff for us. Yeah, on the side, that's true. Yeah, we have to take care of ourselves as well. So we're playing some games, you know, that are not on the channel publicly, but we're you know doing cool stuff. Uh, I've been, I went back to one of my old uh, vices, which is Went, the Witcher card Ooh. game. Uh, I started playing again. <laughs> I the, love. It, it still is up. What? Yeah, it's still, uh, it's yeah, it's still up, and it actually is getting the last expansion in September, I think. Oh, that's really cool. But there was a, there was a, uh, they had, they're having like small expansions like every two months or something. And I, yeah. I started playing when the new one came out and I've been having a lot of fun playing that. I love card games. Uh, that one is one of my favorite ones. Card games super, are good. Like, play today I played games. Pokemon with my, one of my girls and she destroyed me. Three cards? <laughs> like the Pokemon, Pokemon <laughs> card game? I yeah. love it. Yeah, that's super good as well. I, I always wanted to, to try the Digimon one because they said it's like amazing. Like the mechanics that they mm -hmm. have and everything. It's like very different. Um, I, but I, I love card games and, and that one is one of my favorites because... Um, yeah, and that's about it. And I've been reading Kindred by Octavia Butler, which I totally recommend if you want to read some cool horror uh, novel. Hmm. Uh, it was one of the best best I've read in a while. So, we're ready now to start this, I think. Do you have any questions, uh, things that I do need me to uh, clarify before we jump back into the, to the action, into the story? Yes, who are we? <laughs> I, I cannot help you with that. You have to, like, go back and read your notes and everything. <laughs> I need to watch yeah, that one. I, that one I cannot help you with. Um, how about the rest of you? Any, anything, any ideas here? Anything you'd like for us to to talk about before we uh, jump into the game? Uh, I would like to establish that Jonah has always been a life cleric, and will oh. continue to be a life cleric. And any memories to the contrary are a glitch. <laughs> in, we let, should get that looked at. Let, let's be fair. You, you, you have the opportunity to to use Warding Flare, and that's that. Maybe one Firewall in the whole campaign. So mm -hmm. I think so. You're, yeah, you you okay. were always a life cleric. I think it's a good choice. Yeah. I'm a GM of the philosophy that the, char the, char the player characters are perfect in the minds of the players, and the role-playing games that we have are imperfect ways of translating them into character sheets and mechanics and everything. So I don't mind about these changes, and it's awesome to have this life cleric that always has been a life cleric and will always be a life cleric, hopefully at the end of the campaign. Um, anything else? No? Cool. Then, now that we're ready, in that case, let's dive once more back into the action of Dragonlance Summer of Change. Uh, okay, so in our last episode, the heroes had arrived at the Red Moon of Lunitari, the home of the goddess of neutral magic. Um, they went there looking for a Salamnic red robe, like a wizard, uh, of legend named Orista of Salanthus, whose help they were trying to secure in their quest to obtain their second key out of three to get clear, clear passage into the abode of the gods. Uh, they are doing so because they expect to get there and to basically solve the mystery of why the gods haven't intervened in the current struggle the world is undergoing against the threat of the Knights of Takisis, who are about to complete their conquest of Ancelon, and probably after that, you know, the rest of the world. Um, what they found of the Red Moon, however, was not what they expected. Uh, they arrived at a pleasant autumn clearing surrounding a tall red tower, um, crowned uh, by a seeming, you know, like collection of black and white obelisks and exhausted after their voyage through the abyss, which took a toll on them, a lot of that, um, they decided to take a breather and fell deeply asleep, all of them. They then were awoken by a short by intense earthquake and the visage of an orange red short haired woman wearing fancy red robes. Uh, this woman introduced herself as Orista, the high mage, and she showed them the reason for the chance encounter. There was like a secondary safety spell in the protective grove around the magic tower that had activated. And this basically this device had stopped time. And in doing so had trapped 
two of Arista's apprentices who were fighting the Archon of Acquiescence um, and two deeply disturbing mechanical followers that the, the Archon uh, seemed to have now. Uh, after that, you followed Orista into the tower. Uh, you discovered that this was Daltigoth, the Crimson Keep, a uh, tower of high sorcery that had been lost uh, many thousand years ago and that basically Lunitari had uh, stolen from the world before it was destroyed and put in the Red Moon directly to house basically most of the followers of the, of, of the Red Goddess who are basically wizards and, you know, magic users uh, of various kinds. And then as you talk to Arista and try to, to, to you know, to talk to her and, and, and you know, um, obtain her help to to get a, get, get some kind of sigil uh, of Lunitaris' approval, uh, you also got help from her and decided to go back and fight the Archon, knowing now that the Archon is a creature made of law, made of some kind of higher law, in that you could after you could never destroy it really because every time you would destroy it it would recon basically would uh, be recreated uh, it would come back to a certain amount of life if you think about it that way um, but that if you after destroying it you cast a wish spell on it you could wish for the creature uh, to not come back to life and you went back tried to save Oristhus's, um apprentices sadly. Uh, fail on the attempt uh, and you saw them like the Archon not only kill them but transform them transform them after death into these like mechanical creatures um, and you uh, in that situation uh, finally defeated the Archon again now with the help of Moonsong who wasn't in the first fight but was here now to help you um, and you destroy the Archon and wished that the Archon you know uh, basically um, I think you wish that it, it, it had never existed, yeah? That was what you wish? Or like it hadn't turned evil? I don't remember exactly like the, the, the wording of the spell. But you had it in such a way that it wouldn't come back to life um, after this. Uh, in a moment, there was another earthquake longer than the previous one. And basically, Orista led you to uh, some kind of a sanctuary of the Red Goddess. Uh, of Lunitari, and there you found the Red Goddess herself fighting against some kind of void, some kind of uh, uh, some kind of uh, situation in which some substance was like destroying the world. In this case, was destroying the moon, like absorbing it and destroying it in such a way that no piece or fragments were left of it afterwards. And she was trying to hold the moon down in that situation. And she asks for you to help her to take the moon with you. Basically take like the essence of the moon captured in a small snowball um, and to go with it forward. Trying to save Arista and the rest of the apprentices that were in the moon. And as you swore, Haldrath swore to do this, uh, you receive the red moon on a snow globe in this case. And the red goddess was absorbed by this uh, essence. By the substance as you were living back into limbo which is the place in which you have been traveling through the plains um and that's where we're going to resume our adventures okay so uh this is what limbo has looked for you uh i think this is the first time uh no i think this is everybody has come here before um yeah, you have been here before, Moonsong, have you? Yeah, because you went to the... No, you went to the abyss directly. So this is the yes. first time you've been in, in like, um. well, I hadn't showed you, like, a picture before, but I think you were before, like, when you went from the abyss to the red moon. I showed you, like, yeah. a white uh, board. Like, in this case, I found a... Finally, I found a map that um, looks more like what I imagine Limbo would look like, uh, the one that you've been coming to. So, um, this was what, where you have been coming to and selecting the, the different, you know, um, sigils and then going into the different worlds. Um, however, now you come into this place, but it looks different. This is what it looks like now. As you arrived, most of the place is, there are many cracks on it. And there is some blackness seeping out of this, out of this, out of this fractures. 
and they're sort of invading this kind of isle and the this surrounding sea of blackness that has always been here um it seems to be like the somehow has disappeared and and now something else is there some kind of unthing that is like pressuring onto this place and that's why this place seems to be fracturing uh what would you like to do Is this the same thing that we saw consuming the red uh, plane we were before? It's the same sort uh, of... It looks like it. It's similar, yeah. yeah. We have to... We have to press forward. Mm -hmm. I agree. There is li little time left. Okay, in this center, in which you have found the other sigils, now you find uh, five of them available to you, which are the following. Oh, I didn't do this. There, there is a lot of uh, cracks coming from the altar, right? Yeah. yeah. It seems to be like... Uh, but once again, these cracks do not seem to be like so much that they're coming out of something. Like It's more like this... Focus. presence that is around the place is like pressuring on it and as it is pressuring on it the place is cracking basically it's like breaking and through the cracks some of this essence seems to like seep through and go into the place yeah remember the that uh, where we are going now we have to find someone that could guide us right my my coin is going to Kiriyolid's plane. It seems like someone that would would not need too much explanation. Mm -hmm. But knowing that we are traveling with the one that well has this essence of paladin within. Maybe Mishakal can. We were lucky to be in the presence of Lunitari. I would not. I would not rely on the goddess herself meeting us there, and her most well known champion is luckily still alive. So we would not expect to meet them on the other side. Yes, my uh, my mother is alive, mm -hmm. right? That's her champion. You are muted. Sorry, as far as you can, as far as yes. you remember, yes, you know she is. Like so, but when we left a couple of days ago, yeah. <laughs> you you, you left you left like a month ago. Yeah, like, maybe, yeah. That, that, that was the last time you saw her. Like your 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 mommy, your dad, both. Mm -hmm. Would we? Uh, your would we know what? another champion? Yeah, no, we, we know. already know. You With Kiri Jolith, we have a hope. Yeah, Uma's we, companion. You you talk about a a, a Manotaur. Mm -hmm. Uh, Cass. You you know these stories, uh, Haldrath, like very well. This is like the oldest uh, fairy tale or like night story that you read at bed, like the story of Cass and Huma, uh, Huma Dragonbane. Um, you know, one of the greatest knights in history, who basically was the first knight who discovered the secret of the dragon lances, and the first one to wear, to use one to kill a dragon, and was the one that actually trapped the Queen of Darkness in, in the abyss thousands of years ago during the Third Dragon War, and by extracting a, a, an oath out of her, like he pierced her with the lance and was, was about to destroy her, like destroy the goddess herself. And then she offered, basically, he offered, he offered her mercy and she extract, he extracted this uh, oath out of her that she would never ever enter the material plane again unless she was summoned somehow into it. And yeah, so, and Cass was supposedly this, this very weird minotaur, like, was that, uh, because, you know, in the Salamnic stories, it's like a very honorable, you know, like, more like a human kind of, you know, minotaur. Uh, that helped him along the way, you know, and all of that. Yeah. How much do uh, I know about Cass? 
Your family was tra were traditionalists, mm -hmm. I think, for the most part. So they do not look. It's not a remember. Like it's one of those stories. Like, oh, this was this one weird guy, you know, back in the day. Like who did a lot of things. Uh, of course, you know the stories painted painted him differently on the Isles, um, on the Minotaur Isles. They he's painted there as uh, some kind of um, like a very strong and brave hero uh, that basically found out the right path among a very difficult situation. Um, but apart from that, it's like no one of the, those revere figures is revered because he was strong and, and you know and, and brave. But um, but his association with the Knights of Solamnia and with Huma and everything else is like yeah I'm, you know like that that's like second fiddle to like his main storyline which was like he was brave and strong in a very difficult situation. I mean, if Cas if Cas can be a good uh, guy, sure, why not? We have our our own weird Minotaur. Hey. <laughs> you know that I don't lie. So. I'm not weird. I am I weird? I'm looking. I'm looking at the at the void. Looking at my friends. I'm not we are weird, all unique. right? Guide our path, John. Let's go. Lead us to. Okay, so just as a reminder to people back at home or who are watching, we have the Golden Harp of Ranchala, the God of Inspiration, the Blue Phoenix Feather of Habakkuk, God of, God of Persistence, the Bison's Horn of Kiri Jolith, the God of Unity, the Single Rose of Magir, the God of Discipline, uh, the Infinity Symbol, and the Infinity Symbol of Meshaka, Goddess of Restoration. So which one are you going to like and where are you going? The Bison's Horn. We're going to... To Kiri Jolith, one of the patrons of the Knights of Salamnia, and yeah, someone we hope that we'll find a guide there. Awesome. So you grab you grab the 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 bison's horn. You can you you basically focus on it, and you immediately feel like there's. Uh, light blue energy starts like loading up even through the cracks a little bit and some of it is absorbed by the cracks by the way as it is like sp spreading out of it and finally like this type of um, the circle becomes like a like a cone of light kind of blue with electric light coming out of it and you start walking through it one by one as you're passing through before uh, I before I cross, I'm looking at my sister. I'm not weird, right? And she frowns and she's like, I'm... <laughs> like, like trying like you like, and then she says, I don't lie either. And like she hits you like on the on like on the shoulder, like. Um... Okay, so um, do all of you go inside? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so you disappeared out of here, and when you appeared, um, you come to like um, a valley surrounded by some low hills. It is like kind of late dusk, early evening. Um, you see uh, a lot of people like uh, around you coming and going in screaming shouting orders you hear the clanking of like metal and everything and all of a sudden um someone turns around looks at you and says invaders invaders have come and whoosh, you hear like the, the drawing of steel uh what would you like to do oh great uh, uh, of my on the on the on the pommel of my sword okay Mm. Just waiting. Sure. What do they look like? The one who said um... they look like knights. They are dressed in like full armor, full plate, you know. And uh, this one in particular has uh, the symbol um, has the symbol of knighthood, which is like the the um, the kingfisher, like grabbing a prominent sword, basically that goes like through the through the knights front of, of the breastplate. Knights of the sun. Uh, then, then I, I would say, like, stand down. We are not enemies. 
Like uh, he looks at you. Uh, do you did did you say that in Salamnik? Yeah. Like he listens to you and then like um looks at you. Like you have your your rose armor, aren't don't you? Yeah, I have the. Yeah. Cool. I I would um, say you stand before the Arch Knight of the Order of the Rose. My name is Haldrath Wimblad. We came to here in, uh, in matters of great importance. Like some, but at this point, a number of knights have surrounded you. Um, and one of them comes forward and he has like short hair, uh, basically like trimmed down on, on the sides, you know, like brownish hair. Um, looks like um, middle aged. Uh, wears no mustache and like pushes some of them around and says uh, hi welcome he says my name is Aurel Tremaine and like he shows you a hand like salutes you Haldreth like a peer basically he has once again uh, the, the kingfisher with the sword prominent sword and on the breastplate um I'm uh, sorry, Lena. I would like yeah. to do an an insight, but, uh, see the um, the general posture if they are uh, still at uh, chance defensive. Sure, go ahead. Wrong mouse. I would like to do an insight as well, but to know. Uh, I am attacking with a racist. That's the question. <laughs> Because like, I know my relationship with m most of the knights is quite difficult. Like, no, the thing sure. that allow me to be a knight is quite recent. So, yeah. I know it's like, exactly. oh, it's one of these, or oh, it's one of those. You realize that the, the one that previously shouted uh, seems so pretty clearly. Um, looks, by the way, the in the language he used... And the way he referred to you looks very old, like old fashioned, like the same way if you would listen to someone speaking like in English now from the, you know, late 800s, they would sound weird to you. Like they wouldn't sound like, like, you know, the way you talk now. Um, and, and this one sounds even like sounds, I would say more recent, but still a little bit old fashioned. Did you rule on that one? Yes, on that? I rule on that <laughs> yeah. one. But it has reliable it's a, talent. It's yeah. okay, reliable talent and also like it goes um, sixteen, but it's the natural one. Exactly, yeah. 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 That that one, it doesn't matter. Like that one is not bad. Remember that we don't have uh, auto fails on on skill mm. Skills can't crit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, cure or cure or or fail. Uh so you look around Keras and you get the especially your sister, like your sister's looking around and says, uh looks at all of them and says this doesn't smell good, bro. They really, really don't like you here. Me. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Uh, and, and and the woman. He says the hunter, the huntress. Um, I'm going to be close to Haldrat. I'm working for you. Okay, give me a stealth or sleight of hand check to do this without like the knights noticing that you're talking to him. Hey, okay. I'm good for these sleight of hand. Yep, or sleight stealth. of hand. <laughs> I'm Rogue good for stuff. these, so I roll a four, 25. But you have, yeah, pff, okay, yeah. awesome. <laughs> you are reliably good at this. Yeah. You're reliably good at this, exactly. So um, I try to convey. I'm I'm working for you. I'm I'm not important. Yeah. So I think in this situation, um, like you say this. Um, anything else you would like to do, Jonah or, or yeah? Musa? I'm going to invoke my background feature as a living saint. Oh, I, I am beholden to a higher law, so my word carries great weight with those who share my faith. And some weight among allied or friendly fates. Sure. So, uh, what do you say? I I lift up my arms and say, "We are burdened with a divine quest, seeking aid and bring 
uh, seek to bring aid to those in need. And like the people around you, like they look at you and, and actually the man who introduced himself as Ariel, uh, Ariel Tremaine, like he looks at you and, and says, you see his eyes like shining bright and then he's like he makes like a kind of a low bow and the rest of the knights follow kind of accordingly um and Tremaine looks around and says um well probably you you're not here for the war effort aren't you war effort um, let's, let's go into my tent and like he starts walking and you can see as you walk around that you arrived basically at what looks like, um, looks like a war camp, uh, on, a, on the edge of a cliff. And I mean, I'm going to show you right now where it is. Let me just, um, so. um, and as you're coming, like, uh, Basically, Tremaine guides you through the war camp. There are some lights on it, uh, like some torches and everything. And most people seem to be coming and going as they, as if they were going into battle. You recognize this out, Rath. You've seen the knights. Um, most of them are knights. Some other people are here as well, but most of them are knights. And um, I would say that um, a couple of them like salute Tremaine as you come along and and everything else and and then he guides you to to um kind of a small tent um and so and you can you by the way from from where you were standing holdreth when you look back and the rest of you if you want to you see a number of battle formations like on the basically on the field below on the on the valley field below um can i move you right now so you can see this is what about um, okay. Yeah. So. So yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, so, sorry, um, sorry, Elena. There is any motion sure. music. Is there isn't. Isn't. Some... Should be, should it's, be. It hasn't oh, no. started playing. Our computers might be downloading it from row twenty. Uh, let me let me check. Oh, I think these ones are old tracks. Sadly, row twenty updated in their last mm. update, and something happened to some of the some of the tracks. Let me just re-add it. Um. I will say this is a very cool map. Yeah. Yeah. As, but a, you can as see always, down um, the grid. Very uh, nice. Yes. As always, Chempeku, Chempeku.com, mm -hmm. some of the best uh, map providers out there. Chempeku, uh, sorry, it's like Z yeah. Z Z E P E Q U dot com. Some of the best map providers out there. Yeah, um, I believe they're now also making science fiction. Maps. Yeah, they have like a new Patreon for that, I think, and they are extremely, extremely good at it. So definitely. So as you're coming along, as I said, um, you can see around and um. You saw like all of these people, basically, you know, like um, uh, coming and going, you know, and 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 the, and once again for you, um, Haldrath, this looks like exactly the type of like war camp you've seen before with the knights. Um, there there is some some really strange thing though that y you see the armors, and you're probably very good at this since it's kind of your specialty. And as you go along, like the people have armors that look like. 300 years old some look like 500 some look so old that you don't Com recognize the Com completely and anachronistic absolutely oldest. like yeah, yeah. So, something like out out of history books or something so of course you know i put you in the in the wrong layer um of course i did uh let me put you into the um so yeah you're going and finally uh tremaine Put you basically opens the the fold of a tent and then he he goes he basically offers you to come in. Uh, 
and you see um, a young man uh, inside and no, sorry, a young woman inside. And he, she immediately stands up. She was like basically taking care of the armor. And she's like, uh, Sir Ariel. And she says, um, it, it's okay. It's okay, Diana. Um, do you wish to uh, have something to drink or to eat? Can I help you with something? Wine. Good. And she looks at you and she's like impressed of how tall you are. And she wears a sword, by the way, on her side. And like she, like her hand almost instinctively goes to the, to the pommel. And then like Ariel grabs the hand and says, Diana, wine for our guest. Yeah, yes, sir. Right away, sir. And like she serves you like a, a glass of wine, like a cup of wine, like a wooden one. Passes to you, like looks so small in your hand. And like, um, yeah, um, you hear the sounds once again on the outside, like people getting ready for, for some kind of war combat or something. Um, anything you'd like to say or do in this situation? Moonsong, Jonah, Haldreth. I want to be very, um, stay aware of, um, uh, the nazis outside. Sure or maybe catch some conversations oh, okay sure give me a perception check okay perception jonah uh, basically wait until we can actually start talking about what's going on because our world is at war but clearly hmm. they are preparing for a different war and probably oh. the one that the but please, please, uh, please take a seat. Um, and there are like some, some small, like I would say, um, kind of. Um, they, they are. Um, sorry, just forget the word. Some stools mm -hmm. there, like some wooden stools which you can sit on. Um, and actually, Tremaine sits on the, on the, basically on the edge of a bunk bed. Um, he says, "Well, well um, you said you are here on a great errand, I think." Um, Son of Paladine, uh, how can I help you with? Kryn is at war. And... We are invaded by the Knights of Takisis. Our prayers, our magics are failing, while theirs are not. And so we set out on a quest to find the gods and why they were not aiding us in this conflict. But when we arrived at God's home, we learned that the gods themselves appear to be at war in a conflict, presumably the one that you are preparing for, and one that perhaps is of a greater threat than the one in, well, affecting the living. But my hope is that if Takisis is helping in this battle, the forces of the living can end their conflict and help you, or the so-called Knights of Takisis are in fact empowered by something else. Well, well, it seems you have brought the missing piece of the puzzle, then. Well, that could explain. This must be some kind of trickery from the Dark Queen. That, that would explain why the darkening has been happening here. Darkening? Disturbing news indeed. Yeah. Darkening? But, yeah, this place is has never seen night for as long as I have been here. And I have been here for a long, long time. So, we are kind of disturbed about this and it has been something that has been ongoing there's a change happening here in a place that never changes and it is the same that has before the other planes mm. this place is at, at risk and the same goes for uh, for all of you we need to reach the gods That would explain why 
why we've been seeing these things and there are reports of shadows of creatures made of shadow attacking uh, the nearby city the great city uh, so we do not know we are not sure um I I, I am sorry I'm just a soldier I'm, I'm not um, I'm very good with the sword but I don't think it's I'm here interesting and well you're already traveling with one of them I would imagine you will trust him as well <laughs> he is he uh, said that he will not fight along with us so he's always been strange at least to us some of us um, but I appreciate him I, I hear that we are strange we are not I'm looking at 100. Well, you are something that I never saw in my life. Uh, and he's pointing towards you, Hara. Uh, Time change. Yeah, and do not worry about me. Do not be troubled. I had... Let's say that the gods taught me a lesson long ago about respect and tolerance. One of your kind saved my life. When I thought all was lost, so I ha I have a deep appreciation for those who carry elven blood, even even if they're not elves themselves. And I think the same comes to you. Then I think, and she turns towards you, Karis. Like, well, I would imagine if you are here and with these companions, it means that you are fighting for the right cause. I would I, hope so. I am. Jonan saved my life. They are my best friends. So I will do everything for them. Um, I will lead you to the Minotaur if you want to. I, uh, unless you want to ask me anything else before you leave. Are you winning this war against the against the blackness, the darkness that is seeping through? We haven't had any battles yet but this is just the preparations um but the reports are disturbing we're trying to do our best and some of the best and greatest minds in history are gathering here to fight this war so we can just hope that the the great bison will come and help us when the time comes no words from him no we're used to be able to perform magic here some of us in the in the order of the night uh, of the sword sorry um but it hasn't been the case for a while now so it was i think close to the time when this change started happening and the darkness has started spreading here Corrupting and marring what was once pure and endless, we thought, we thought, sacred. Queer dreams. I rolled oh. my perception. How much is that? 18. 18. Cool. So as you're sitting there, probably you listen and on the outside, you hear some voices that, that go like, um, what? Another another one? And another voice that says, Yeah, 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 with a witch and, and some other people. Like a knight of half of blood. And and they're like Well, we should take care of them. Uh, uh, after we have we have bigger fish to fry after that. We'll we'll we'll, we'll look at them afterwards. Like and they come and go and like You're a witch. With a witch? You look like a witch to them. Like you have, like you know, you have, like you, know, you have, like this, this battle painting. <laughs> and remember that you come from a time like I, some of these knights never met because they didn't exist. The people of the plains. So you I, look I different. Look, like. I don't think that I'm the witch they're referring to. I, I look at them who, 
who who they think they are the witch like <laughs> you probably think at this point Jonah Jonah. looks more like a witch yeah, yeah. definitely uh, it's totally Jonah. not me i am the other no. one exactly <laughs> uh, totally normal like Jonah yeah. is the weird one here yeah. awesome sure Oh yeah, lead, lead, the, lead the way to Cash. Sure. We were, we are going to talk to him. Sure. Um, he's in the city, so uh, we'll have to go there. But um, it's, it's not too far away. I hope. And and then you know he's uh, he starts walking. Uh, how are the rest of you? I'm trying to remember if any creatures of shadow were mentioned as part of the forces of the Knights of Takisis. Like, if their if their wizards were able to summon any creatures or manifest them. Yeah, I don't think so. No. No, I don't think so. No, I don't know. I, I, know, I don't think you... At least you know so far you haven't heard any... any, any and, like, the, the Knights of Takisis, like... They've been doing their thing and all that, but um, but you haven't heard any 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 type of of, yeah. of memories or talks, you know, like this, the one that you hear now. Yeah. So this guy thinks Takisis is the cause of the darkening, but I'm like, well, I think mm -hmm. they're either separate or like the no. Knights of Takisis don't aren't being empowered by by her either. That's yeah. It. I will. If we're going, if we're, uh, if we are walking, Keras uh, will try to look as small as he can, uh, trying to smile okay. a little, make some waves. Hmm. I, I, <laughs> don't want, I don't want to look as. Uh, I want to look as friendly as I can. Are you trying to be friendly, my friend? Says <laughs> your dwarf companion, ghostly dwarf companion. Trying. <laughs> I'm going to walk as tall and proud that I can. Of course you are. You don't give a shit. Like I don't give a shit. I'm going to. Yeah. I if I I if I would wear a like a cup that shows his his weapon, his gun. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but I don't have it. But I'm going to walk like yeah. I'm confident and don't mess with me because I'm going to. Exactly. exactly 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 yeah yeah uh, so awesome <laughs> so the roles are completely inverse <laughs> yep 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 so um okay so as you're walking um anything else you'd like to do as you're leaving the camp and going towards the city it is you not try not to look like a witch. <laughs> yeah. Wait, we have a witch? Apparently. These people are weird. Yes, they They're are. not used to the bald head. It's more of a <laughs> modern style. <laughs> of course. Um so as you're walking uh leaving the camp and the city by the way on the horizon looks beautiful it's a great city of beauty and dim that extends as far as the horizon like covers the horizon like in all directions um it's uh, and it's like integrated with the rest of the um of, of the like uh, the surrounding area and like you know the the nature comes into it and like has the space to live in it is not one of those places that has uh, sort of like banished uh like nature to to cr to create something that is um mortal made this is like different in that sense and um yeah and as you keep on going i would say at some point like uh what is the march order uh who is on on front and on the back and everything like that because i'm working for a uh, hadrat i will be behind him okay I mean, if we wait, walk in pairs, I don't know who is going to walk beside the the knight. Yeah. No. I don't know. 
No, uh, if no one is taking the spot, yeah. uh, Haldrat is going to take it. So, in that case, I walk beside Jonah. So, Moonstone and Jonah, you're on front? What's the idea? Oh, be- Nope. Or in the back. It depends where the where the knight oh. is. So Haldrath yeah. is next to the knight. Yeah, I, I, I'm I'm assuming that the knight is on on the front because mm-hmm. he's leading the way. Yeah. So Haldrath and the knight, get us, and then Moonsong and Jonah. So Good um, look. yeah. As you are walking, uh, the knight tells you like leans over. You, uh, Haldrath and says, it, uh, I'm sorry to, to bother you, but is it me or does your friend have, is there something strange about him? Um, and he, and he like, sort of like nods towards Jonah. You are walking now with the Scion of Paladine. Uh, yes. Like he is the revered son currently? I'm going to just not. It's really been... important that we reach the gods. I understand. I, I would have asked you to join us, but it seems like your errand is more urgent than ours. Or maybe it is related. One can only hope. Indeed. Maybe that's the only thing we can do now. I'm sorry to... Um... Okay, so as you're approaching the city, um, as I said, like you can look around and you see like these uh, beautiful tall buildings, and all of them look like um, intricate designs and designs that do not look. Probably none of you have ever seen something like this. Uh, it doesn't look like Solabnik or or like any of the cultures that you probably are more familiar with. Um, if somebody wants to like roll like some kind of um, check for this, like history check. I can give you like some no, pointers can, if you're just. I can roll. Sure. Bad idea for me to roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't okay, think I don't some. roll. No. What is that? Uh, 19. 19. Good. Uh, this looks like um, elvish and my a little bit but once again you probably met elves and and you're related to them this is like looks like very old like so you've never seen anywhere in the world that looks like this in that sense so it is it is like that um, okay so um and then as you are approaching uh the big, the big city, the city has like very tall buildings and like openings and everything. There's like a lot of water coming in and out of it, uh, and there, there are some like uh, the streets. Some of them are like over this water that basically is like at the, it's almost like the city is built on some kind of lake, like a huge lake, and this the streets and everything are like built on top of it in such a way that you can still see the waters as you are approaching, and you see many many houses. Um, once again, all of them have like these rounded uh, rooftops and a lot of green and purple going around here. Um, and, but all of the houses are empty. Like you can see that there are no lights. Is is there? There's no moon now, illuminating the sky or anything. And like is 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 very dark. Like it's it's like that that time of the of the day when you are like usually you're supposed to be like lighting up torches or something to illuminate your way. And, like there's nobody here, as far as you can see. Um, Elena, uh, clarify yep. me a little, please. This is a work sure. camp or is a city? It's a town. No, this is a city. This is a city. And as you're approaching, uh, he, uh, like, Ariel looks at this and, like, lets out a sigh and turns around and says, Welcome to the city of rest. 
It has, no, it has many names in many languages, but it's the name we all tend to use when referring to it. There is... there is no one. Where is... everyone? All of us who have come here in the past have done so because we have fought mm -hmm. in the name of our Lord, Kiri Jolis. And we have most, most, some of us, most of us, I would say, have died fighting for him. Now that this threat is upon us, all of them have took arms again. They're all on the battlefield, on the valley. Only one remains here in the city. Gus. The one you're looking for. But why he isn't in the fight? He just said he wouldn't fight. He refused. <sighs> we don't know why. He just did. Um... There must be uh, some important reason for that. There must be. You are right. That reason I do not know, and many of us try to convince them. Some of them much wiser and stronger than I am. Better with words, and none of them were able to convince him. So he just stayed behind, while the rest of us marched away. I would you need me to do? I, I haven't met him before. I know where he is. Would you need me to do introductions, or are you going to go yourselves? Can you go by yourself there? We can. We can. Sure. So he points towards the uh, the end of the. I haven't moved you in the in. in the... I haven't moved you in the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. Of course I haven't. Of course I haven't. Yeah. Okay. So as you're entering the city, um, you walk a little bit uh, on it, and then you reach this beautiful place. Um. And, uh, Ariel points towards like a big house. At the end of the street, uh, at the street you're currently in, and he says, "You'll find who you're looking for there. That is his house." And points towards this one at the top. I'm going to. Uh... The, the, the knight is, uh, that is escorting us is? Yep. Who? Arlen Tremaine. Arlen? Uh, Ariel. Ariel Ariel Tremaine. Ariel? Okay. Um, Ariel Tremaine, that's his name. Yeah. Um, uh, before uh, they leave, I'm going to uh, walk to here, from uh, near here, and extend my hand. My, my hand. Thank, thank you for uh, escorting us. Keras. I haven't oh. present myself. Ariel Tremaine, he says, Knight of the Sword. I am... You're most welcome. I hope you find success in your quest. We hope so too. Nikiri Jolly is lighted your path. And then he turns around and walks away back to the camp. So, what are you going to do? We are right. Mm -hmm. We arrive. Uh, well, I'm guessing knock on the door. <laughs> yeah. As you approach, you can see that there is no door. Like, basically, you go here. Uh, I'm going to move your tokens. Um, you just go here to the entrance. And as you're going, like, up these stairs and everything else, you reach and there's, like, a final flight of stairs uh, that goes into this house. Uh, there's, like, a sort of a hole, uh, entrance hole. And there are no doors like you just you know you come in and you see that um here inside there is light uh you can hear the crackling of, of um of a chimney or hearth uh fire going and like there are some sounds of like uh like there's some creaking sounds uh there, every all of this is made out of wood um what would you like to do give me a sec Give me a second, please. Sure. We need to find why he's not 
participating on this war. We, and need, we need to find him too. Hmm. Well. I'm, I'm sorry, I, 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 I interrupted you. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to knock on the door. There is no there door. Is no there is no door. I'm going to knock on the frame. Yeah. You knock door. on the frame? Yeah, I'm going to announce myself. <laughs> Just in case. Why not? Yeah, this person no. may be from thousands of years ago, but we're from the present. Yeah, no answer uh, to your knocking. What do you say? I think we just walk in. Before that, before that, before that, Elena, uh, this is Jose yeah. that I have no idea of Dragonlance universe. There sure. is any kind of uh, greetings that Minotaurs do? Um, none that I can remember <laughs> <laughs> either. So I'm going to say that you can invent anything you want and we're going to make it canon for us. Like that's the way, you know, the Minotaurs basically greet each other or something probably something that um uh sort of like name Sar sargas would be mm -hmm. something that miniatures use a lot sargas is is their yeah. is their their you know like their the greatest god in a way you know like the one that they quote the most so yeah okay. and definitely that remind me what did I did that pact? This is because there was about a year that we yeah. did this. You are you literally have the mark of the chosen one of Sar Sargonas is the name like everybody mm -hmm. uses. You have the 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 mark of of is invisible, but you feel it like uh, it's like a little tingling, like you know, like burn burning in your in your forehead. That is the mark of 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 Sargonas. Yeah. You call it once again. You call him Sargas. You saw him before entering God's home. Uh, before he... okay. Before we enter in Minotaur, I'm going to yep. uh, speak loudly, not yell, but speak loudly. Sure. Saying, uh... Gus, my name is Sarras in Perifan. Chosen one of I'm sorry, Sar uh, Sargas. 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 Chosen one of Sargas. Me and my companions wanted to talk with you. We come with no intention of harm. You hear like a, like a very loud step, and someone has some kind of like piece of cloth as they're like drying their hands, and this like very large figure of a minotaur, like broad chested, you know, tall. It's like a feet taller than you are. Every, horns and every, everything every minute and most me. most of his fur has like streaks of gray over it and like the four in the in the like in the head most of it of the of the hair has gone white literally like you know grayish white and he says do not say that that disgusting name here once he's he's speaking minotaur or in, in yeah minotaur he says I am Cassiganthi. I am Cassi. Um, Cassiganthi the Orald. Servant of the Sword of Justice. I do not swear or respect the name of that traitor of Sargas. He's a cruel, ruthless god that only cares for blood and has done much harm to our people. And then he looks around and says, I have already said my final word. I will not go into battle. Not this time. Have a good day. And he turns around and like goes back into the. Very fast. I'm going the... to translate that in, in in common to everyone to understand. No, the last thing the last... he said okay. in common, like to the rest of them. Yeah. We we don't need you as a soldier. We need you as a guide. He stops in his tracks and looks around. Where would you need me to guide you, Sir Knight? I'm looking at Jonas. We must inform the gods of the situation back on Kryn. Their followers are being slaughtered. They need their help. But perhaps 
news of this battle. News of the conflict that the gods are embroiled in. Could unite the people of Kryn. And be the solution to this conflict as well. Is this some kind of prank? Because if it is, I assure you I'll make you pay for it. I'm good to do pranks, but no, this is not one. I'm not certain I have much of a sense of humor at the moment. No, he, he doesn't have. Coming in, you look tired and famished. I will bring you something to eat. And like he turns around and, and basically points you to once again, there's another like frame and there's an, another like a little room here. Uh, not so little actually, there's like a long table and the hearth like basically is on and you can see that there are there are like a number of uh chairs there everything is beautifully crafted and looks old but well kept in very good state and as he goes into another room says uh please uh take a seat enjoy yourselves i'll be back in a moment i want to look to anirada my sister What's her face looking at Gus? If if Gus wears like a frown, your sister's frown is like deeper and like more pronounced and she's like That is one weird minotaur, isn't it? Isn't it? We are we are a family of weird one. Just look like No no. I, you were the only weird one. We're all well normal. Oh sorry. And like like uh, the mender on the side is like, he he looks nice enough. Yeah, he looks like some someone nice. Looks like you. Hmm. What about the rest of you? Uh, Moonsong, Jonah, all Hadrath, anything you'd like to do? First of all, I don't think we have uh, a long rest. So Hadrath is looking like. He yeah. doesn't want to, but he really appreciates the, the food and yeah, the it's like, oh, we down. don't have time, but we're being forced to lie death like back yeah. and be like, <laughs> Oh, fuck. Okay. We, are, we are pretty tired. <sighs> Less than five hours. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, no, we're not he, taking a long rest. <laughs> he comes back after a while and like sets up the table. There's like some roasted, um, like, um, say like a wild boar uh like some some vegetables as well and actually he brings you some soup like brings like a like a like a a full cauldron puts it by the side of the hearth and there's like pouring you know and serving you some soup and, hmm. and before he arrives some I, would like of to, wine. Good. I would like to talk to keras mm -hmm. He seems like uh, a proud fool fellow. Yeah, I know that. Very honorable. Maybe you should appeal to that, to his sense of honor when you are talking to him. You know that I'm not that honorable like you, right? I'm not saying that you have to be honorable. I am saying that you should appeal to that sense of, of him. And because I think that maybe you should handle this conversation. Okay. Sure. Just remember that if you need help, you can just take mm -hmm. a glance of to one of us. But I, I really think you have a lot of things a lot of things in common with him. Do you think? Yeah. Hmm. And they trust you. And I'm going to give you a big fucking pound oh. on the back. It's going to fucking <laughs> hurt. Okay. Guess it's returning, right? No, not yet. Um, because I'm giving you a chance mm -hmm. to do something before he does. 
He's been bringing food though, and like soup, and like water, and some some wine skins. And I. Should I be trustful? Mm -hmm. I don't see why not. I don't like. Uh, I don't like telling lies. And you see, like there is like one one on the one scrunk stream on the on the table. There's like a beautiful. Um, like back uh, chair with like some decorations on it. Almost, it looks almost like a little bit of a throne. Uh, and the rest of them are like beautifully decorated as well. But the one that's on the on like on one extreme of the table looks like more prominent. And be behind that, there is like a huge double-headed axe on it that is like put on the wall, descending on the wall. There, it has like a a sheer and brilliance to it, as if. Someone had like you know sharpen it like an hour ago or something. Hmm. I'm going to look at Kira like. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm 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 waiting for Cass to 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 came. Okay, Moonsong, Jonah, anything you'd like to do, or should I bring Cass back so you, we can you can talk to him? I, I'll look at Moonsong and go. This is wild stuff. <laughs> I mean, let's enjoy the rest while we can. Mm -hmm. So, she comes back, uh, sits on the on on the on, on the seat on the table with the axe behind him, and he starts like. Uh, eating and drinking says well travelers and guests you've come to my home I should say um, please entertain me with a tale of your travels and what should I do to help you <sighs> you have spoken of many great and weird things that I do not understand so I would like some more details it's been really weird in green lately uh my companion, Jonan, and I'm pointing to, to Jonan and Haldrat there. They are... <laughs> they are... Um, they understand more of the God stuff that is happening right now. But, long story short, uh, they... God, the gods are not uh, answering their prayers for their spells. And looks like they are fighting in uh, in another place with another enemy. They have their hands busy. Everyone there. So we are traveling, trying to get there, get their help or help them if there is necessary. <laughs> Sorry, um, the last part seemed a little bit prideful, if you allow me to say so. Believe me that it's not pride what guides us. You and there, it's uh, Remind me the word, uh, I'm trying to remember the word, uh, Daniel. What's happening to you now? Apotheosis? Uh. <laughs> He's... He is the new paladin, and my friend here uh, keep with him the Red Moon. Oh, okay, first you shouldn't use that name in vain, and second... No. Really? Like, he looks at you, Haldrath, like... What, me? I'm not paladin. No, he is paladin. The moon. He is the moon. Uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not the moon. I have you. You're the moon bearer. Yeah. You're that's either telling the word, me that. That's the word I was missing. You're either telling me the tallest Kender tales I've ever heard, if I've ever heard some Kender tales in my life, or you are on the most strange and challenging quest that I've ever heard. What? Well, World is weird. World is weird. Mm -hmm. You 
you say so. Besides that, I have to confess I ha I lied it to you before entering. My name is not Saras, it's Kerasnar for now. Keras for Snedma. The my loss the the other name is no longer he doesn't live anymore. Hmm. Trying to appeal so you... that, I trying to appeal that uh, I'm not follower of uh, I'm not... Sargas. Oh I'm not implying that, I'm implying that no. just I'm not in the Minotaur culture for per se. So you are disgraced and without a family name. Is that what you're telling me? Andrade is look just like leaning, drinking, and watching like this is going. Interesting. I'm in my uh, in, in, in my I am look, I'm, I'm thinking I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. I'm David myself. No, 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 you're doing great. Honesty is the best policy. <sighs> and like the dwarf is like, yeah, mate, you're being awesome. Keep going, keep going. We and need your sister, of course, you know, frowning as always. Um, we need your guide. Hmm. We need your Anything... guide to. to... To get to the ne to the next place, to complete this yeah, yeah. this quest, this mission. Mm -hmm. I understand. Anything the rest of you would like to say for yourselves? Just curious. Why, why do you want to fight? I don't want to fight. Yeah, I that... will not fight. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why, why do not? you not want to fight? Yeah. Sorry, my my common it meshes with my salami. Common is weird. Kendra is weird. I fought my whole life for one cause or another. Every time I thought I was doing the right thing. Until I met my greatest friend. And my great mentor. He was one of your own, he says, turning to you, Hondra. But he wasn't no rose knight like you are. Not even a sword knight. He belonged to the humblest order. He was a knight of the crown. And no one believed him to be any good. Not even himself. And then he went ahead and saved the world. And died while doing so. I know when to fight. And when the time is right, I will again. But I will not fight out of fear. It's just because it's the one thing that these people know how to do. Fighting in such a way is not only senseless. It is, I think, a disgrace. It is spitting on the face of our God, the one that has us here in this beautiful place. Kiri Jolith is not a god of war. It's a god of honor, of unity, of community. Some of these people love too much their swords and their shields and their armor and the sound of battle. They have hungry hearts for war. Mine is not. Not in hasn't been for a long time, and I will not allow it to be thus again. That is why I'm not fighting. Plus, is the rumors are true, you cannot fight destruction with swords. What are you going to do against that? You cannot fight shadows with spears. I agree, it didn't make any sense to fight something that is like air. 
that's why we are looking for another ways. That's why we are tra doing this travel. Bro, our journey thus far, we have learned that maybe we is not that much that we need the aids of the gods, but we need to help the gods against the darkness that is seeping through. It's funny that you tell us all these things because I, I really think that the battle here is futile and we need to focus else, elsewhere against a real enemy. But we need your help for that. We need to reach the gods. We already lost too much along the way. And we are here to put an end to all of this, one way or another. Good. I will help you, but I need to prove your worth. What do you need? You need to offer me your neck and let me take a swing with my axe at you. If you survive my attack, you will have proved honorable, and I will lead you to the place you need to go, I think. Without FS station, Keras is standing up and walking uh, next to Karas. I'm sorry, next to Cass. Next to Cass, yeah, it's yeah, okay. <laughs> next, next to Keras, it will be a little recursive. <laughs> like, like, uh, like the Mender and the and and the Dwarf are like, what are what are you doing? And like your sister is like, great. For once, you're being bri brave. Excellent. Yes, that's what we want here. I'm stopping for once. I, I mean, again. I'm I well keep done. I, I keep walking. Like, as you stand up and walk, like he also stands up, grabs, grabs, goes about, grabs this, grabs the axe, and says. Well, may I help him before you take a swing? Sure, why not? Are how sure many hit this, points? Guys? How many hit points are you below your maximum? Um, two. Two? Yep. Oh, I'm almost full. All right, then I'll. I'll hmm. Are you sure, Karas? I could take your place. No. I need to prove this. Then go ahead. You say that. You don't, you don't need to prove anything, my friend. You are already proven everything. But, like I said, I trust you. So go. Yeah, all right. If you're that close, then I'll just save it. And if I need to try and revivify you, I will. And I, I was going to offer, but I'm at 17. So maybe just a mean look is what <laughs> yeah. it needs to. I, I'm also profit. very, very wounded. Yeah. Well, so. just to to remind, I believe I, I'm looking at my character sheet right now. I believe I, ha I still have a trinket. So maybe I can not die. <laughs> Hey, I, I, I was going to offer because I'm cursed anyway. So, nah. Yeah, I have a trick. I can die here. Okay. Uh, where you have a trick? You have this advantage is... on that saving throw. Okay. I, I have heard this before. I don't know. Green Knight? Maybe? Hey, well. Yeah. I wanted to make a reference to one of the coolest things ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you I watch the this. movie? No. Just a tank. Oh, I, I'm even more impressed. <laughs> you are truly are a knight. You have you have red knight tails. Awesome. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tolkien translation. Very. very good. <laughs> I just remember this part, so don't yeah. praise me too much. I, I, <laughs> I remember this part. It's okay. I'm Joe, Jose, Karen. really ignorant of uh, Dragonlance. I mean, learning a lot with this campaign, so. 
<laughs> no, this is a, actually this is a, uh, like a real life reference to the yeah, okay. an, an, an Arturian legend. Yeah, the real legend. Oh, okay, so okay, okay. what do you do, Keras? Do you go down on your knees and offer your neck? Yes. So, Cass lifts the axe, lets it fall down, and just before it hits your neck, you feel like the, the breeze of air, he turns it around and passes on beneath you and puts it in such a way that both blades of the axe are looking at your face. And you see your reflection. You truly are honorable. Keras follow. For none that is not can be reflected on these blades. This is honor's edge. Stand up. You're a brave and true person. Do you trust your companions or should I test them as well? With all my life. Then I need no proof of them. But you look tired and weary. Would you like to rest a little bit here before we go? You will have to endure a trial here. I think if you want Kirijolid's help, you will have to defeat his champions. Twelve of them. At the same time, they've been his greatest servants, and they decided to forsake their names and just become entities that serve him. They are the twelve peers, and you will have to fight them in the arena in the trial of the brave. Anyone who has ever done and defeated them has been granted the blessing of the Bison God. That's some this really is fun. Caballero del Zodiaco shit. <laughs> Saint Seiya. Like, yeah. like, like all of the references, like like Alejandro's like, you know, putting all of the references here that I'm, that I'm using. You are good to go. I would like to face them. Not only for our ke our quest, but to measure myself. But I'm quite expend after the journey here. I hope we still have time after yeah. that. Pl please, um, yeah, drink so. and rest. I think we're gonna we do a short rest. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah. Do we have time for a long? I, I can. I think the ones that are most wounded are Haldrath and myself. Mm. I can restore us to half our hit points before the beginning of the short rest. So with hit dice. Yes. Oh, okay. I I can do it, but the problem is. How are you with spell slots? Because I have I'm my not... first level, one third, and that's it. I have almost all of my spell slots. I I only used my three level fours. No. Yeah. So well, I have. We can go then. I just need the the. Uh, where, where I can see how many hit dice I have in the end If you if go... you hit short rest, yeah, let me show you. I've used up four myself. I had used two. I I have all my hit dice. Yeah. But I I, I will need probably every hit dice here because I'm seventeen. Mm -hmm. So yeah, short rest. Okay. Yeah. Everybody uh, wants to get a. I mean, I, I'm full. And I yeah, have. But Haldrath and I are my... are quite wounded. So I'll give you what's what's half one seventy one. What's half of that? What's like eighty something? One seventy one. Yeah, it's like eighty six, eighty five, eighty five point five, eighty six, eighty five. Yeah. All right. So, so I'll Haldrath? use. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm going to use Preserve Life twice. Uh, so the first time you regain hit points up to 85.5. So 
uh, 86, I guess. That case, I think, yeah, 86 or 85. And the second one is for myself, and I go up from 34 to 69, I believe. Okay, that that's a lot. I, I'm, I'm 103. Yep. No, no, you... I, I, I can only take you up to half. So you're you're hit you're now at eighty six and I am at seventy. Ah, eighty six, okay. And that's where we can start our short rest. That's the half of my one seventy one? Yep. Yeah, okay. So yeah. Short rest time. Mm -hmm. We short eat time, right. and drink and fucking so take your... a fucking breather. Huh? I, yep. I can offer you this amulet. What? Since what? I fight from afar, I don't what? need it that much. Maybe you do. What? So what I amulet? have an amulet of health. Yep. Constitution would be 19. I... No, you I have refuse. to tune. No, I, I refuse. You refuse? Why? Yeah. Because you have a family to go back. When we finish this, you have to be in one piece and alive. We all have to be alive. Are you been falling all the time? And I haven't. <laughs> I'm okay. Please, mm -hmm. you, you are wounding my pride I, uh, as a knight. Whatever that is. Uh, uh, besides, my life is forfeit, so let's drink. If I remember... You say that uh, we should be prideful. Take the take the item. You will need it. You can force me. I can try. <laughs> no, so, you can. I have uh, three potions of healing and one superior. So, I don't know if you want to use one now or we save it for later. I have I all my hit dice, so I think I can make it to yeah. max level. Mm -hmm. But I think we should uh, distribute the, the, the potions. potions. Like, have... hang it on your... on your on, on a collar, like, please use... use it to... <laughs> back in, uh, bring me up to... to my feet. So I have three. Uh, for... for... Uh, of healing the 2d4 mm -hmm. I can give each one of you one so in case someone falls I have yeah. a superior healing potion that I, I, I think we are ready this yeah time. I think it must have come from you maybe I don't I, have I anyone so. any equip yeah 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 I think we are ready to distribute them on I'm the going fight. to give you one keras of of healing in order to bring someone up when in, yeah. in someone mm -hmm. falls. Okay, give me so one. So I'm going to rest one. Uh, okay. what, 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 what kind of potion is? Healing. Potion of healing is the yeah, name. Yeah, the regular 2d4 plus 2. Okay, that's plus right. Two. Just in order to bring someone oh. back. Up. Remember to have it uh, on your person to yes. add easy access. I can yes. reach most of you. But yeah. I was using the wrong keyboard. No, I can also cast your wounds. Look at that. I yeah, cannot. Uh, Ranger. I'm going to begin my short rest and heal myself. One hit dies. Does it apt automatically? I don't think so. But yeah, that's 12 then. Heal. And short rest. That's one. Ah! There. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, sure. Fifty-seven. There isn't um, much change from my part, obviously.
Um... In that moment, I think when you're doing all of these things, you know, and like when, when you when you said you had the discussion with Moonsong Hadras, um, Cass approaches you and said, "Would you follow me, Sir Knight? I would like to work with you." Oh, lead the way. And like you walk back one of the one of, one of the hallways, and he opens the door to a room. And as you go inside, um, he closes the door and then he says, You remind me of him, of my dearly departed friend, who I wasn't given the luxury to share my life with in the afterlife. I think he went to another place. I missed him dearly. I don't know what troubles you, Sir Haldras, but I would like to help you if I can. I would offer you my my axe, but I don't think you fight that way and you have seem to have your own weaponry with you. I'm pretty good with an axe, but there is no need. And actually, being troubled is one of the things that I'm not right now. Uh, recent events have made me take some perspective and make some of my worries feel really small in perspective don't worry for me i'm fine i'm with my friends and they are all that i need sure still i would like to help you in any way i can and since i do not use this this belonged to my to the original owner of this house, my good friend Sardal Crystalthorn. He was an elf. He was a elf, uh, and he helped me greatly throughout my life. So I would offer you this in case you would need you would get any use out of it. And he offers you like a beautiful bronze shield, like this type of like long shield with like some decorations on it. Um, and then he says, this is a magical shield. As far as I remember, you benefit when your friends are close and you can protect them. Hmm. As things go wrong. All right. I'm you... Yeah. Sure. Bring it here. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to send, put it on the chat now, on our chat. Ooh. Uh, this is a uh, magic shield. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You're running the first part? Oh. Yep. Oh, shh. Hmm. Basically, you get a plus one for every. For, I'm gonna edit that for every ally within five feet of you. Uh, while you wield the shield, and it's in addition to the normal bonuses. And whenever a uh, creature you can see within five feet of you takes uh, damage, you can use your reaction to take the damage instead. Mm -hmm. And it's a plus one too. It, it's a normal shield, uh, and then you know for each one, each friend that you have five feet, it gives ah, yeah. you a plus okay. one on top of that. So. For example, you're fighting close to like Jonah and Keras, that gives you a plus four instead of plus two. And... Okay, I, I know give it give it to me, but I think Jonah should have this. Sure. I already have a magical shield. Yeah? Yep. 
It is better than than this one. I mean, it doesn't. It gives me advantage to initiative. So yeah. Ah oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have it when when I fight with the storm club. Yeah. And he says, "Please do not throw away your life as I'm as my friend did." You said that you that Keros has a life back home. I would say you have one too. There must be people who love you and would grieve you if you did not come back. You're right. You're, you're actually right. I don't intend on, on throwing my life. But cool. I will do what is necessary. And I know that you... You know that feeling. You seem that kind of man. I have lived a long life. I lived a long life. And... So many brave people die. Well before their time. And they changed the world and they made it better. But somehow a part of me always... Always questions that. Is it that what the gods want of us? To throw our lives, to sacrifice them? Aren't our lives their greatest gift? Shouldn't we... Take care of them? But I understand. I hope this shield protects you as it did my friend. Thank you. Let's get you come. Link. Yeah, you go back to the rest of the group. Uh, is everybody ready with their short rest and everything? Mechanically, yes. re right. Yeah. Yes. I uh, no, actually, I ca I think I can do something more because go for if that. I go to features and use harness divine power, mm -hmm. I can rec recover get some. Things. Some spells and then get uh, my channel divinity back. Uh, back. That's Plus, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Harness divine power. Where are you? Please explain to me how do how much do you? Cross for all. Yes. You do not have any axe with you or sword. Are you not a fighter? I. Use another way of combat and showing the daggers. Hmm. I'm playing with them with my hands. So I imagine then that my axe would be of no good to you, good use to you. I meet a very interesting uh, warrior that maybe she will love to use that uh, axe. Thinking of the one I meet in the in God Hall. Yeah. Or maybe my sister, but no, it's not my style. I'm a, I, I appreciate it. Is your sister the one who travels with you? You see her? I saw her when your face reflected on Honor's Edge. Honor's Edge shows everything. She's my sister. She's just like, take it, take take the axe, take it. But I, I, I'm looking at the empty emptiness. It's not my style. It's not. I'm not worthy. Maybe it is not the time for this. Uh, please excuse me. I'll be back in a moment. And as you're taking your short rest, I'm gonna say that hour, mm. chaos disappears. And so, Haldrath, you did your thing. Is everybody ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. I could use the, use the axe, by the way. Okay, good to know. But... <laughs> can offer it to you. So yeah, it can offer it to oh. me. It, it's for you. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, no. It, and, and that's right. That's right. So, it... after an hour or so, before you depart, uh, Cast comes back. And then he says... I have been granted my wish. Honor's edge is now gone. But maybe this will help you. 
and he approaches you with some kind of an armband armband and he puts it in, like around your your like forearm uh, are you left-handed or right-handed right so he puts it around your left hand your left uh forearm mm -hmm. and then he says i think this would be most useful to you you can see the bracer is beautiful like it has like decorations of like many gems and gemstones and everything around it and, and it's like broad enough that it covers most of your forearm uh and there's like a space like two slits which are currently like uh empty mm -hmm. and then he says reach into the arm brand and put out what it comes i'm going to do that as you do you sort of put your hand there and reach into like sort of like the darkness inside of it and as you put out two like shadowy ghostly daggers appear in your hand hmm. <laughs> so uh, I, I think i think the g the gms in the house know what i'm giving you no we know what i'm giving you so that that's the one that you have now um that's happened when it. i don't uh dm anything everything is new for me <laughs> everything is new for you yeah uh, you've <laughs> seen it in another campaign but yeah, yeah actually did i Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes you've seen it before wait one in I strad i gave it to to our rogue in strad i love that yeah my era. i know it's great yeah it's like the best magic item if you're a rogue i think a, a rogue that fights like that way with with daggers and everything which i think is the best way to be a rogue oh my that's okay okay I'm, so I, I really appreciate it it is okay maybe it is not the time for honor but for those who have different ways of doing things. Heroism changes from age to age, although some of us would like to be at the same. Change is the only natural thing. So, are you ready, brave warriors? I'm ready. <sighs> yes. By the way, do you have a name as a group? Most groups of heroes do we are different that way <laughs> indeed you are follow me please I, I, I love game yep. I hate you Elena <laughs> didn't we talk about a name we, 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 uh, we've we, talked about this like a yeah. hundred thousand <laughs> times but you never I'm we never, never come you name. never well, come uh, to an agreement uh, because uh, I don't uh, get to uh, vote uh, there I, 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 I remember that Freaking Heroes group. of the Gods was yeah. some, some song that was yeah, but, but nobody said like, like yeah, too yeah, pompous, yeah. like, oh, yeah. we are the Heroes of the really Gods. Really pompous. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. Maybe you can be named like Nameless or something. The Nameless. Yeah. The Nameless Heroes. Oh, yeah. The Nameless well, Heroes. Yeah. The Nameless Heroes. Yeah. The uh, Heroes okay. with no name. As you walk out of the out of out of Cass's house and you keep on going through the city you traverse it and then you reach what you imagine is uh probably one of its main centers or hubs it looks like a beautiful plaza nobody is on it it's like a, it's very disturbing the sense of like nobody around here like every everybody like no sounds or anything in the night you can hear almost in the distance almost like a faded echo the sounds of like battle preparations and everything else. And then Cass walks you down like a, like a, is like a tunnel that looks almost like a street. It is very broad and, and tall and completely covered in darkness. And then as the tunnel ends, you enter like a great white space, open, no rooftop. You can see the stars on the sky and then all of a sudden <laughs> two great like uh i think they're like giant torches or like some kind of like uh illumination like blue light goes into the night and then you see a number of statues around you light up um and this is what they look like 
Oh. All right, this is a big arena. A big, yeah. big like. arena. Wow, it's big. Oh my. Wow. It's a huge arena. And as you come into it, the statue's weapons seems to absorb the same blue light. And then the statues come alive. And Ka says, The trial has begun. May carry your leaf be with you. And that's what we're gonna end tonight. Well, we're gonna end this part of the session, like this half part of our session, session nine, everybody. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, uh, no. oh, no. And we're gonna come back next week. Yeah. Next Maybe we week. can leave it roll initiative. No, yeah. no, no, no. Let's no, roll no, initiative no. then. You yeah, know. yeah. Ooh, let's, let's go. Let's... Remember that almost yeah. all of us have advantage. Yep. Oh, okay. okay. How are we doing, everybody? Woo. Uh, we finished that session. Uh, well, that half of a session, but uh, it's about that. So we're going to go into a break now. Everybody's going to roll initiative. We're going to add that to the tracker. Uh, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for watching this. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, uh, and wait for the second half of this session, which should come out like next week for you. Yeah. Um, and, 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 unless I press the wrong button and be in the five minutes later. <laughs> yeah, and, and publish them both like five minutes apart. It's okay. We really appreciate your watch <laughs> uh, and your comments and everything. So thank you so much and see you next time. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye. -bye.